Yes! Welcome back. Currently we are on the scene on the outskirts of downtown Dallas, Texas. Right behind me is a little creek. It's actually called Turtle Creek because I think there's like turtles and that live in there. But anyway, this is a dope creek. We fished here in the past. It's loaded full of some urban bass. I love doing these kind of videos because it opens up an opportunity for you guys to find some interesting spots. But here's the twist on today's video. Uh, today's episode is brought to you in part by a little bit of inspiration by a guy named Ty Pig Patrol. I was scrolling through my suggested and like all the popular videos out there in the fishing category, and his video popped up. He was catching fish in a literal sewer on a rat. If you guys wanna check out his video, I'll leave a link down below. But today I'm gonna try to attempt to do the same exact thing, only in uh, this beautiful little park, which honestly doesn't look too urban, but believe me, there's there's like skyscrapers around here somewhere. Anyway, we're gonna get after it. We've got two rods, a box full of rats. We're strictly only gonna fish with mice and rats. So like little tiny baits like this and also big baits like this. Seeing as we are in the urban setting, it's only fitting that we match the hatch and throw something these fish are probably used to eating. So let's get all rigged up and go feed some fish and mice. Well, we've got some options here as to what kind of rats and mice we can use. You can go for your more realistic uh, rat pattern right here, which honestly looks like scary real. This looks a lot like a rat. Um, or you can go for your radioactive uh, pink mouse look, which is a little less natural, but could work equally as well, especially around those nuclear power plants. Um, we've also got some custom handmade rats here. Doesn't look super realistic, but I'm sure it's got some good action. And then we've got the hollow belly, completely weedless ones. I'm gonna tie a jointed one on the big rod and then a weedless one on the little rod, and we'll just see which one catches the most fish. I am thoroughly pumped for today's video. Which one am I gonna fish though? It's all good. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that. That's gonna get the business. Let's try this on. Yeet. Let's go get him. Got a rat and a mouse. Rat and a field mouse. So the biggest difference between these two baits is one is a giant wake bait. It's got two treble hooks. It's a, the equivalent of a small dog, let's be honest. That, that's a big rat. And then this little guy right here is a little mouse. It's a weedless bait. It's only got two hooks and it's meant to throw in grass. So we've got two styles of rats we're working with right now. And uh, to be completely honest, I'm not 100% confident that we're gonna catch fish today, but we're gonna give it a good old college try. Let's run it. This is semi-dangerous. Not really a crosswalk here, but I'm just gonna, just gonna go. Oh snap, I just jaywalked. How are we gonna do this? Hmm. That's the big question, is how are we gonna do this? Okay, I'm going down, I'm going down. Ah. ah, oh, there's a little spinner bait there. Someone's been fishing this junk. Real talk, real talk. All right, I'm hopping down. Okay, I'm in. Just gotta get it in there. Oh, that's in there. Wow, this is sick. All right, let's keep moving. Damn, I thought for sure someone's gonna come out of the storm drain. I just, I can't really get the right angle on it. I also keep thinking, I, I think I'm gonna break this rat if I keep making those casts. Let's move. I would like to find some grass. First spot, no good. Let's keep rolling. Oh, I just spooked something big. I just spooked something really big, careful. It's way too dark for these glasses. I don't need these at all. Look at that duck. No duck, that's not for you, duck. 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 Oh, you see that? That was a fish. Oh, I thought he had it. He did have it. That was a little bass, his first bite of the day. First bite of the evening. Just had one, I whiffed. I don't think he had it completely. Didn't fully gulp it. It was kind of a half gulp. It's buggy as hell. All right, onwards, keep going. Oh yeah, there we go, I'm on. Fish on the rat, fish on the rat. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Here we go. Hey, fish has gotta eat, even if it's a big old nasty rat. Yes! How about that? We just ran that rat into a fish. I did not think that the big rat was gonna get the first kill of today. Proof, proof that urban bass 
are hungry for rats. Big ones especially. That was dirty. I made like one cast. I didn't even like the cast. I was like, damn it, I missed the wall. I was trying to run the seam of that concrete wall almost like a rat would. Like rats oftentimes try to get up over these concrete walls and they, they hug it really tight so they don't get eaten, of course. And that bass took the opportunity. He took the bait. Woo wee! That feels good. Not a bad fish. I reckon she's just close to two pounds. And size doesn't matter when you're catching them in skyscraper filled traffic infested creeks. Not too shabby. Get back down in their dirty water. So cool, man. So cool. Coming here, not knowing whether or not this was gonna work. I just had a feeling, just because of how perfect the conditions are. You know, when you go to a lake that's full of shad, you're gonna throw crankbaits. When you go to a lake that's got a lot of crawfish, you're gonna throw a jig. In this case, it's an urban setting. What's probably one of the most urban animals that I can think of, or at least you guys can think of, the one thing that comes to mind off the top of my head is a rat or a mouse. So you've got areas where there's clearly mice coming into the water, or rats coming into the water and getting stuck, and the bass know that. Bass will eat anything. Little ducks, I'm sure, would work in here too. I'm seeing a lot of ducks around here. But that feels good. Boom, cha-ching. Put it there. Ding. So while we're on the topic, I figured I'd run down this bait for you guys because I'm sure the, the whole process of throwing a rat and the technique of doing so is quite foreign to most of you guys watching my videos. But this is uh, your typical rat bait. This is a wake bait. What makes it a wake bait is the fact that it's jointed and it's got this big lip, almost like a crank bait, but it's positioned so far down that it's gonna keep that bait on top of the water. It's got a nice little soft plastic tail, two big treble hooks. You can actually rig a top hook, um, but I just wouldn't recommend doing that. Two is enough, and I'm throwing this on 65 pound braid and a 7.5 rod with a 7.1 to one gear ratio reel. And the way you work it, it's very simple. I, hate, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the rat's almost a great lure for you beginners out there. Literally just cast it out there, let it sit for a few seconds, I kinda like I kind of like to let it marinate in the area just in case there's a fish nearby on the initial drop. Then I'll start slowly winding that bait in. And the bait does literally all of the work. It looks pretty much spot on to how a rat would look if it got trapped in the water. So rats are pretty good swimmers, but they can't scale a wall like this and bass know that. There you have it. Getting, getting ratty with it in the Dallas urban setting. How cool is that? Oh man, look yeah. at How do I get down there though? How do I fish this? Let's do this. Whoop. Gotta make it work. I can't get down there by any means, so we're gonna give her a skyscraper dangle in typical urban fashion. That's perfect. This should be an instant five pounder. No, how is that not a fish? It looks really good. I think it might be just a bit shallow. Mm, not happening. Let's move on. That was fun though. It was worth a shot. Pretty musty in this area. Mega must. Holy moly, look at all the trash. This is absolutely grimy. Whoa! That was a bass. That was a bass. That was 100% a bass. Got him. Got him. Got him. On the mouse. On the mouse. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was the coolest scenario on earth. We just jacked the bass on the field mouse. It's confirmed. Urban Dallas bass not only like rats, but they also hunger for some mice. That was so sick. I was just kind of scanning this bank looking for any sort of activity. This guy was chasing, I'm guessing probably a bluegill or a minnow. Maybe it was another mouse, I don't know. So I threw in there, gave it a few twitches, came up and slurped it. Again, not a bad fish, not something you'd expect to come out of this. This is a dirty, sewer-ridden creek. 
but that's why you fish every single piece of water that looks good. Money. Well, this has been quite the day. <laughs> oh, big success, big success. We're done, that's it. I don't think we're gonna beat the day that we just had. Plus it's about to get dark, so we're gonna head on out of here. As much as I'd love to dabble in this creek, in the urban creek at nighttime, probably not the safest move, so we're gonna get back in the car and head out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys wanna check out the rat and the mouse used in today's app, be sure to check down there. Also, huge shout out to Thai Pig Patrol for inspiring today's video and giving me the energy, the charisma to get out here in this musty creek, this dirt, nasty sewer waterway and catch bass. So go out there and find some water, whether it looks good or bad, wet a line and make it happen. I'm signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.